Good morning, gardeners. This is Paul, and today I'm going to take a cutting and propagate this version of Black Dragon. Selenoceres coniflorus crossed with Hyloceres ocamponis. Now, I've had this plant since August, so about 11 months. And you can see it's doing quite well. So what I like to do is first give it a nice cut at a 45 degree angle. hard to do one-handed can't catch it so now I'm gonna clean this up and show you what I'm gonna do next okay so flesh to stem cut is what this is called and it's not my favorite method of propagating dragon fruit so in this case since I cut it at a 45 degree angle to have the plant not rot when water sits on it that's why a water will rush off after it heals so what I like to do is cut it nice and straight and then I like to use my grafting tool. Now it looks a little rusty, but I did just clean these tools with rubbing alcohol at 90%. So now what I like to do is cut back the green plant mass or material. So very carefully, but without destroying the core. Being the shape of this one is a little bit different than most three-sided dragon fruit. This one is four-sided. You have to be a little careful. That's basically it. That's what I like to do. Maybe scrape off a little bit more of this to prevent rot. And then, I even like to just kind of cut this a little bit. Just like that. So it will kind of spread out, see? See how it spreads? See? So that's what I like to do. Now I'm gonna let this heal for at least a week, maybe even two weeks in the shade outside of my greenhouse so it's not too hot. So a very nice kind of cool shady place. And it's really important because if I planted this in soil right now, like my growing media here, it would most likely rot. So let it heal and then what you can do is plant it in a well-draining growing media. As you can see here, this has plenty of pumice, perlite, and coconut coir. Now lastly, the last thing I want to say is that I'm going to only plant it into the soil vertically about that deep. And that's what I do. So the flesh to stem cut on black dragon fruit. I'm gonna put this back in my pot later this year. It's the middle, uh, beginning of July, so it's a great time to do this method. And you probably have less success if you do this during the winter time, just to let you know. So there you go. Give us a like and a subscribe. Thanks for your time and support. Have a great day. Take care.